I wanted to just mention Marit. Marit, can you hear me? Um, I think that her work, when we talk about it being emotional, because I, I even feel emotional talking about it, wow. it has such a, a quality that is so different from what is being done by other people and so beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's just, it has an ethereal quality to it, almost with the transparencies and and the different sh shapes that that seem to float across your canvas. I mean, I just think it's beautiful. And I, I encourage you, just like everybody else has, to really look at it for a while. Put it away for the night, come back and look at it. Because I, I've had experience myself where um, I got really discouraged with, this has happened with several paintings. And I ended up making dramatic changes and I look back because I always uh, document everything that I'm doing step by step. And I look back, you know, maybe six months later at the new uh, uh, outcome. But I look back at the original and I think, what was I thinking? That was wonderful. That was so spontaneous. Mm -hmm. It was it needed so little tweaking for it to really look like something. And um, so before you, Murray, before you go in and do a bunch of things to it, really give it a chance because it's so, it's so soft, it's so gentle. And I just think it's wonderful. Um, yeah, well, the, the whole thing about like uh, giving something time and, um, you know, like the emotional, there's something really emotional and like you, okay, I know what it was now. When you were saying you kind of look back in the history of your documentation and you say, wow, I mean, I'm here. But now I realize that when I was there, I actually had something I really loved as well. And um, and I, I don't know if it's something that we, as we get older, maybe we give ourselves permission to stop a little earlier and not feel like just because we did something quickly that 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 it's not good enough. Part of I think the reason we feel like we must do more is because we feel like we haven't put in enough time into something, but. But I look at it in the reverse, is that the longer you paint, the more likely um, be on the lookout because you might actually get something in 10 minutes that you can only do now because you've been painting for so long. So the longer you paint, be open to the possibility that you might create what deserves to be like just a few layers of paint because you've worked hard to get there. And leave it alone. Like you were saying, if you ever have that feeling like, you know, this this is actually pretty good. And I just started uh, painting and it's 10 minutes into it. But, you know, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Um, then move on to the next piece and don't just let it go, like save it. Because that might be something that you end up keeping. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Because, um, <laughs> but I also find that there's always, and this is true, I, everybody goes through this, but um, I find so many questions that keep coming up as I'm working of, of, you know, I may like, for example, right now, I've got this thing going back here. If you can see beautiful. it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, that looks like a landscape. A lot, right? a lot of colors and, and, um, and there's parts of it that I really like, but there's other parts that need work. And I know that as soon as I start working on those other parts, Things start shifting, things start start changing, and I'm not sure they change for the better, you know? So, I don't know, I guess that takes years of practice to figure yeah. that out, I don't know. Yeah, I, I agree. The minute you make any mark on a painting, it, it, it impacts everything, right? And um, maybe the longer we paint, we start to recognize the smaller, like I, I, I personally feel, um, when, when there's a lot of things you are liking, there are a few things that are not quite right. I try to go for the smallest thing I can do first, just to see if that might sort of make it so that, oh, that little small thing just made a huge difference rather than go for the big thing that takes a lot of courage, you know, cause sometimes it's a small tweak that can also shift the entire painting in a very positive direction. And then you don't have to do anything big. It's just like, you know, so, uh, yeah. 
but everybody has their own process. I'm sure it's going to be beautiful by the time you get it done, but every painting is a challenge. <laughs> Thanks, Marianne. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Um, this has been questions? a really good one, hasn't it? Yes. I, I love you guys. Uh, all your, your uh, enthusiasm and your passion for what you're doing. Um, information being shared, tools and uh, books and Okay, anybody else want to uh, join in? Otherwise, we'll, we've got an hour left to paint, guys.